Hi folks, it's Peter Nellman from New Edge Sharpening in Halifax, Nova Scotia, and I'm working with um, Knife Planet and with John Broida to uh, bring some uh, demonstrations to you in the, in the form of videos and articles. And this one, uh, lesson number four, is going to be about pressure and how I'm going to use pressure to sharpen my knives. So I'm going to do something different. I'm not going to talk very much in this one. I've been told that I talk too much, so I'm going to I'm going to keep that down, and I'll just, I'll just keep the uh, text flowing in the video. A little preface first. So I use four levels of pressure when I sharpen a knife, and it's to simplify it. We call it burr. I just call it burr forming pressure and burr removal pressure. I use burr forming pressure on my core stone or the first stone that I use to form the burr. And once the burr is formed, I never need to use that pressure again until. Uh, throughout the process of the nut sharpening, so I use three uh, ever diminishing levels of pressure after that. So heavy pressure or whatever pressure is required at first to get the burr formed, and then it's a matter of dropping down the pressure by about 50% every time. So at the end of it, I'm uh, I'm just using a very light dropping type of motion, feather like touches. So let's get started here. I'm going to sharpen this Fujiwara that belongs to an executive chef here in my uh, where I live. It's it's very dull. It won't, I don't think it'll find anything. And um, so I'll show you. I'm going to use um, 400 grit, 1000, and 5000 grit. Let's get started. Burr forming pressure. Feeling for a burr. I've got a burr. Finding my angle. About 12 degrees for this knife. About. As I sharpen, my goal is to uh, find a balance between uh, on the both sides of the knife. So a, a balance being uh, in terms of the time I spend on each side, the angle I'm using, and the amount of pressure I'm using. So I formed the burr on one side, but I have it on the other. So I want to equalize the pressure. I'll go back to the other side for a little bit. Starting to feel the burr now. I can feel it there. I can feel it here, but it's not so much right there. So I'll concentrate my efforts in this area right here where there is no burr. So I'm going to lighten up my pressure here and keep burr forming pressure in this area because there's no burr there yet. And I'll lighten up up here. So I can feel a burr along both, uh, I have a burr formed from tip to heel. So now I'm going to drop to burr uh, removal pressure. I never use, need to use that amount of level of pressure again. So I'm going to just, on the same stone, whether using one stone or three, I'm going to uh, go back to the exact same stone, 
repeating the process. This time I'm just going to go from tip to heel, heel to tip, and flip the knife. I've reduced the pressure by 50% at least. Going to reduce the pressure again. Finally, So that was four levels of pressure on the core stone. Now I now will look at the light, the edge, under a nice good light to see if I can see any metal reflecting, which would indicate that I've missed a few spots, but I, I don't see anything there. So I'm good to go onto my, and the knife, the edge feels good. It should be very sharp at this stage. If it's not, if it's not up to your standard, or if it, you see a little light, you can just go back at the stone on a, with some very, with light pressure, like this. Have another look. Looks good. Feels good. It's my signal to move to another stone. If I was only using one stone, I would just continue the process with the one stone, of course. So now that I'm going to switch to a 1000 grit stone, I'm going to start at burr removal pressure. Just moderate to light pressure. I don't want to form additional burrs. I'm refining now. Finally, my uh, 5000 grit stone to finish this off, starting off with very moderate to light pressure. I don't want any, this is burr removal pressure. I'm doing my best to equalize time, pressure, and angle on both sides.
take a look at the knife always before we finish. Have a feel. It feels great. It feels sharp. I don't know if this will cut this paper, this type of paper. I don't have any. So it's good now. So the, the demonstration was to just to show you how I manipulate and, uh, pressure and get the most out of every water stone I use. So don't be afraid to give it a shot and uh, read the article that accompanies it. Thanks for watching.